Hello everyone, uh, it's Russell Lowe speaking again. Um, I'm not sure who everyone is, but uh, whoever's watching this, I'm going to take a look at some uh, NURBS modelling to create some surfaces that'll, that'll then build up to create a uh, uh, three-dimensional model. Um, it's a technique I've just learned, so uh, it might be a little bit uh, dodgy, but um, uh, let's see how we go. So, the first thing we want to do is um, go into shapes and you can see splines up here uh, and NURBS curves. Now we could create a spline and a series of splines and convert them to NURBS curves but um, in this case we'll just create NURBS curves. Um, I'm going to create a point curve and I'm going to go into the perspective window and go ALT W to make that bigger. I'm going to click there and click there. Now you can see it's starting to curve it. If I right click now it ends that process. Uh, I'll make another one over here like that and another one over here like that and once again right clicking at the end uh, then right clicking to um, deselect the point curve I'm going to grab this one and go uh, hit the W key and shift it up so we get this sort of offset arrangement uh, then I'm going to uh, go into the modify tab and you can see we've got this NURBS um, uh, sort of option or toolbar I guess opening up. First thing I'm going to do though is attach those other lines to it. So attach and that one and that one. Um, I don't know the difference between uh, attach and attach multiple because clearly I just attached two of them which is um, I guess a definition of multiple but there you go. Uh, so now I've got this um, these three lines. I'm going to select the create ruled surface. I want to click on that one and you can see there's a dotted line coming out. I'm going to click on this other one and I've created a, a wonderful green surface. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is click on here and click on that one and you can see I've created another surface. Um, it's kind of interesting um, for a start. Uh, let's go into the um, modifier tab and open that up. I can select the surface which we might need to do later to flip them. Uh, because they might not render properly, they might be showing their normals, they're single sided so they might be showing to the inside or the outside so if anything disappears you'll need to select the surface and um, and flip it. But for a, for a start I'm going to select some points, I'm going to select that point and uh, move it up and you can see it sort of pulled everything along with it, I'm going to select that point and move it up and uh, maybe move this one out a little bit. There you go. And I'm going to select uh, that one and move it up. And you can see you can get some quite um, amazing shapes pretty quickly. Uh, if you're just new to moving things around in 3ds Max, you can see I can uh, isolate movement to single axes, uh, or I can um, select by hovering over the box in the centre I can select anything, uh, select a point and move it anywhere in that plane at once. It's a little bit more difficult to control on the perspective window but uh, in the orthographic window you'd be better off. Uh, so there we go, we can shift those things around. The next thing I want to do is um, go into the, uh, probably want to do, go into which is the one? Hopefully this lets the sound uh, catch up with the audio or the audio catch up with the vision so to speak. Um, oh that's what I want to do. I wanted to create a credit transfer from curve. Maybe that's what I want to do. Nope. Nope. <laughs> um, hang on just a second. Great point curve. Nope. Hang on, I might uh, just pause that for a second. Alright, I'm back. 
Um, it's pretty funny. Uh, so <laughs> what I've um, uh, what I've found is this create surface edge curve. So if I click on that one, you can see it highlights these edges and uh, creates a curve, new curve out of them that we can then, uh, in this case it's a pretty simple curve, two points, uh, then we can create a ruled surface between those and we can finish off that end in that kind of way. Um, what I'll uh, do also is uh, create a ruled surface between uh, that surface and that surface and you can see that it um, now has a relatively enclosed thing with an open end. <coughs> okay, excuse me, got a bit of a cold. Um, I might hit the G key to turn off this grid because it's uh, bugging me a little bit and then uh, remember I'm holding the Alt and the middle mouse to rotate these things and I'm going to go into the points and I'm going to sorry points and I'm gonna um, just pull that one down a little bit so I can get some more space on the interior um, maybe that one down a little bit too and maybe that one down a little bit bingo so we've got ourselves a um, three-dimensionally curving surface uh, creating an object um, I'll quickly create a box and then um, using a uh, throw a material on it and then a skylight remembering to put it onto standard and then give that a wee little render and you can see some surface is missing so spin this around let's see if this one's missing as well yeah, yeah it's not showing a surface in here but it's showing its shadow it's a little bit hard to see so what we need to do is right click in the space to get rid of making skylights then go into modify, go into surface, click that surface hmm. sorry for the jumping around uh, I had um, edged faces turned off so that when I was um, selecting the surface it was actually selecting surfaces as you can see them um, the transform icon is moving around but it wasn't showing up um, visually in the um, in the viewport other than that so if you hit the F4 key it will show it up um, so it's quite clear what um, what surfaces you're dealing with um, if you come down into the uh, into its modifier um, properties, um, you can uh, go display normals and then flip normals, and you can see this little um, thing sticking out now. No little blue thing sticking out uh, on that surface. If I flip the normals and display the normals on that surface, it'll come out as well. If I select this surface, you can see it's got normals already showing actually where is its little blue thing ah display normals there we go so and it's showing a normal sticking out in the right direction so now if I come out a little bit I can render that thing and you can see all of the different uh, surfaces uh, if I look in this open end um, things will be disappearing all over the place because uh, that surface is pointing outwards I would say yeah so you don't see it because it's pointing downwards um, so you could do a face extrude modifier on that to, um, uh, to get it to show um, give it some thickness I mean uh, right so just very quickly one last thing I'll do is I'll select this hold down shift 
hold down shift first and then um, move it and you can see I'll make a copy and go OK and then I'm going to convert this to a um, editable poly and then I'm going to do my usual trick of uh, making a lattice out of it and then putting that down to 0.5 and that down to 0.5 give us a nice um, give us a nice lattice and then we can um, the next thing I'll do is I'll whack a um, FFD 2x2x2 modifier on it um, and you can see that puts a box around it, that's called freeform deformation if I um, expand that and hit control points I can um, manipulate this in another way um, on a, I guess on a more global kind of way um, oh, I could have done that using the um, ladder uh, using the tools inside the nerves I guess but um, this might be kind of useful Oop, notice it's flipping around a little bit it doesn't know where to center its view at the moment Oop, that's not helping uh, so one last render and we're done Cheers. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this was useful.